<laughs> hello, hello. Uh, can y'all can y'all niggas hear me? Gotta make sure this is on before I give this speech. But uh, here we go. <clears throat> hear ye, hear ye, all ye Eldians. I have an announcement to make. Uh, I don't really know how to put it any other way, so uh, here we go. I'm about to step on these niggas. <laughs> uh, have a great day. I'm about to step on you. Drop the mic. You dropped the Eldian mic. <laughs> that wasn't even a mic. That was just. That's my real public service announcement. <laughs> I'm about to step on people. Bing bong. Right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for us to return to the world of Attack on Titan. A world where we will observe some of the most outlandish, most outrageous black Air Force activities to ever be seen by the human eye. And just oh, in terms of black Air Force energy, I think Aaron would be like the game. Himself, Aaron. <laughs> oh, yeah. But before we get started, y'all already know I got to give out the spoiler warning real quick. So if you have not seen episode 76 through 81, uh, I we have, we have, them we're fine. Real quick, but I know some of y'all niggas don't care, and I know some of y'all already read the manga so f it without further ado let's I know y'all already read the manga I am that person <laughs> you are that person yeah but he said only 76 to 81 right so I'm not being spoiled yeah, or anything yeah so you're fine so he, he can actually watch this let's go face <laughs> Gabby at the black air force rumbling as you can see Marley then pulled up on LD's block and my nigga this is a whole ass invasion but of course you know Aaron is not having that shit so Yelena's trying to tell him hey bro nigga the ops are here you need to get your ass the f out of here but Aaron's just looking at it like <laughs> You think I'm running from the smoking now? Nah, back. She is <laughs> running <dead>. towards it. <laughs> so Aaron's just walking down and just looking at them all like, y'all niggas really thought y'all was about to pull up on my block with that sweet shit. <laughs> shit ain't sweet and Eldian, nigga. So then here come Reiner coming down to get his ass beat for. <laughs> nigga, I done lost count. Like, for real, how many times this man got his ass beat? Bitch ass nigga! <laughs> One. <laughs> Damn. Two. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> no wonder he's over at five pretty much the end of the season. <laughs> he got beaten up pre time skip too. He's trying to do his best Dempsey roll in 10. Ah, Dempsey roll. And look at him giving him the feet and shit like <laughs> nigga he beat the shit out of his ass. But well, then Porco comes behind and tries to sneak him. They now said they no boxing him. rules, we're gonna go out. We beast left back like beast. But then Aaron gets sniped in the head. Hit his ass with the long shot. But then Marley just starts blasting on them niggas. All the ops posted up, they just bust a cap in their ass. He's hitting them niggas with that. Oh my god. <laughs> These are war crimes, but why are they funny? What the frick? <laughs> My boy getting his ass beat. And then Reiner just comes in straight and stabs him. So while Aaron's getting his cheeks clapped outside, the gang's deciding, all right, bro, should we help this nigga or not? So then Armin asks Mikasa, hey, girl, uh, you want to help this nigga or not? I mean, he did tell your ass off a few episodes ago. And she wants to, but yo, she debating in her mind herself. She looking like, damn. Do I even want to really do this shit? Looking at that musty ass scarf she ain't taking off since Musty ass. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, do this shit. My boy's getting his cheeks clapped outside. But then they just said, all right, so let's just go help the nigga. So then Porco comes up trying to sneak Aaron again, but he gets his back in it into a uh -oh. and then they can fold like a rag doll. So while Aaron's screaming his ass off, trying to get Reiner off of him, he ends up getting I still find it funny that people are thirsting after Porco. Literally minutes before he died. <laughs> he got screen time, but not that much screen time. Right. But now people sit before him, it's like, now I see it. It's like he's literally about to die. Why are you thirsty? So while all hell is breaking loose, Yelena is doing this. What in the deal is this? But her weird ass is enjoying this. Sh and look at her. Oh, Zika! <laughs> I can smell his musty, hairy fragrance from here. So while Aaron's limping over to Zeke, Reiner ends up charging at about Zeke. It's a strike! Is that from the Wii? Yes. I think Reiner's the one that needs help. Is that boy getting his ass beat for the 50 millionth time? See, that's why they gave the nigga the armor titan, because the nigga can't fight for shit, so they gotta make him durable whenever he gets his ass beat. So while Armin turns around to talk to everybody, Oh. What the yeah. Yeah. 
Yo, she looking at that nigga like. I beg your pardon. <laughs> hey, yo, look how fast she changed up. Nah, bro, that's terrible. Uh, so all the Gabby psychopath. Not the psychopath. Gabby's like, damn. I'm actually starting to feel bad. For you, bitch. I mean, like, you didn't think she was a psychopath I'm literally I'm after, after you know, she then. Like, oh, someone straight was a psychopath old blood. And yeah. was like, you know what? Even I don't know what's going on with her. I was like, oh gosh. Oh god. Zeke looks over at the cart, Titan, like, damn girl. Peak, you was fine as hell, but you had to end, girl. He ended up using her skeleton as camouflage. And Zeke ends up getting shot. <laughs> Is this nigga serious? <laughs> Dramatic. <laughs> Aaron's still trying to get to Zeke. Porco comes out nowhere and sneaks him again, but Aaron straight up breaks Ooh, him back. Right. He started beating okay. his skull in. Yeah. And then he's done. Yeah. And then they end up shooting his arm off. So while they got him pinned down, Zeke is like, shit. All right, all y'all niggas that drunk that damn wine, <laughs> I got to use your ass now. So he's about to turn everybody into a titan. But Colt brings over Falco and he's like, hey, yo, chill, cuz Falco jumps over that shit too. But then Zeke looks at him like, well, that's a damn shame. <laughs> well, that's a damn shame. Oh, oh my gosh, the Black Ops yeah, references. The Black Ops titans. zombies yeah, references. Oh, my oh, God. God. Look at that neck. Yeah, everything I didn't know that was a Black Ops reference. I feel like, like Call of Duty. Oh, my days. And this man says, you know what? I'm going to just let this nigga Falco eat me. So Falco eats yeah. the problem that nigga. And that man dead. So I am like a snack, snack. Yeah. Like yeah. Oh my. Yes, Morco back hitting hard, my nigga. So Reiner ends up shocking Aaron, but Aaron activates his escape plan, so he rolls up. Yeah, he hardens and, and just goes. <laughs> Peace out. Aaron's running. Everything starts to slow down, and Gabby is on the side, straight Barrett 50 cal and everything. <laughs> and she like, I'm about to clip your ass and put it in a montage, cause face Gabby don't miss shit. Oh, oh my God. Oh Gabby's my God. such a badass character. Like, she's crying, man. Yeah, Tim, but she's <laughs> doing <they> more. <laughs> And then a Minecraft death screen. Fuck out of here. Brought us back to 2015. Shit, I thought she just ended the series. But since his head touched Zeke, he ends up getting sent to literal Titan Heaven. she look like the damn spirit. Good old Titan Heaven. <laughs> and looking dusty as hell. That's what we should call it from now on. Titan Heaven. <laughs> Even though the person's a slave, but... Built like salad fingers. But then here come Ymir looking all... And shit, looking like she's been walking the Sahara Desert for like a millennia. Like, damn, somebody get the bitch some water. So, we <laughs> all know Zeke's plan was to stop Eldians from reproducing, but Aaron was like, you know what? Man, eh, nigga, fuck that whack ass plan. So, Aaron tries to get Ymir's power, but she ends up going to Zeke. So, Zeke's like, all right, listen, little nigga, uh, I'm about to take your ass back in the past, and you about to see some shit. So they go back all the way into the past and they end up going into Grisha's memories. So while they're looking at baby Aaron, Zeke is feeling some type of way. Man is like, damn, this nigga went to go get some milk to have your little damn demon baby ass. <laughs> Bitch ass nigga. So while they keep on going through the memories, Zeke is like, yeah, bro, our pops was basically on a whole sting operation to get the founding titan. And Aaron's like, damn, shit nigga, I shouldn't even been born. I was a motherfucking accident. So they get in this one memory and this man Grisha straight up sees Zeke. Bro, like, hey, hey, hold on, man. How the fuck you see me, cuz? Nigga, I thought we was in Soul Reaper mode. Yep. So apparently the nigga ain't blind. So right. we get to the day where Grisha steals the founding titan. And, and this is where shit just got crazy. So Grisha's oh, like, the turning point. Family. <laughs> you really man, thought it was like, like, oh, yeah, Grisha's maybe like, she hey, was the one who attacked me. No. I was cracking shit. up. So the whole family don't want to do shit. And they just want to stay behind the walls. Freaking manga superior ass people, god damn it. <laughs> it's not even that. I'm just like... Only... Come on, it's logical. It's a logical thing. It is. It, it really is. But then we realized way too quickly that, um... Izuyama is fucking crazy, so, um... This child's on demon time. Here we go. Looking down at him in just straight disgust. And then this man just gave us a lesson on how to just straight up yeah. gaslight niggas. Yeah. You know what, bro? Yeah. Roll a clip. Pussy ass. They ain't they shit. They killed your sister. I think you forgot what the Bitches ain't shit. 
violent. All the answer shit. Listen to your friends. The big smiling bitch. Your side bitch. Your side bitch. What you doing? This is an idiot. Is that Patrick? Yeah. Straight up sat on the bitch. And then just started beating her stolen. Then just straight up ate her. Then he just bought your entire family. My God, what he's squashing! So after he just bodied the entire royal family, which Aaron instigated his ass to do, Grish is like, "Bro, what the f did I just do?" So he ends up seeing Zeke again, and he just straight up starts apologizing. Bro's like, "Son, I'm so sorry for being a terrible ass father. Sorry for going late out night and getting milk and never coming back. Even though you a snitch ass nigga, bro, I still love you." He is a snitch. <laughs> for the sake of the world, nigga, you need to stop that damn accident. Yo, stop the accident. Brother, nigga, he is on demon though, time. Get warped out of the memories and just look at this man, bro. This absolute stance of dominance. Bro's just straight T-posing in front of his ass. <laughs> then look at him. He like, we still haven't even got to the part where I ate his ass. So then Zeke realizes, oh, so it was you all along. Yo ass started all this shit. My God, bro. Ever since this man just straight up kissed Historia on the hand, he just went batshit. Like, he was a lost cause after that. So Zeke just starts yelling at Yamir like, hey, yo, mate, LD is not reproduced anymore. So while Yamir is walking away, Aaron is literally ripping his hands out of these cuffs. Boy is losing his mind right now. So then he just breaks free and hits the dash. So now we get Yamir's backstory. And this is how everything started. So she was a con little soul wanting to help everybody. But then these barbarian Viking ass just came and just burnt down our whole town. Barbarian Viking ass bitches. The slaves and yes. They are straight up gouging their tongues out on some Game of Thrones type shit. So later on, somebody let a pig escape. So King Friss is like, all right, so if nobody fesses up, uh, y'all all losing an eye. So everybody just straight up snitches on Ymir. And Ymir is like, hey, dad. You're a rat ass bitch ass nigga. <laughs> so then King Friss says, all right, then. You free. So she get to stepping and they just hunting her down. Straight up shooting arrows at her and using her as sport. And she like, damn, I'm really about to die over a pig. So then she <laughs> finds this big ass Deku tree. So she walks in it to try to hide. But then her clumsy ass ends up falling down and ends up starting to drown. So while she's drowning, looking like she's in the Kingdom Hearts Dark World, this weird looking spine thing just starts swimming up to her. And then it starts to merge with her, and then she transforms into a titan. So King Friss ends up using Ymir to expand the empire of Eldia. And they end up having three daughters with very familiar names, Maria, Rose, and Cena, which are basically the same name as the three walls. So one day while King Friss is giving his speech, one dude is like, you know what? I'm about to pull some Julius Caesar shit. So he chucks a spear at him, but Ymir ends up taking the hit. So while she's impaled by a spear, King Friss is like, uh... Get your ass up. I know that shit ain't gonna be your ass. Nah, G, I'm gonna have to tap out. It's so fucked, but yeah, that's basically what he did. Yeah, that's like. Her whole body. And bro's like, all right, take it, my daughters. Eat her ass up. We can't lose that power. Gobble that bitch up. And now after y'all. I still can't believe he suggested this knowing damn well he has no clue if this is going to work. If you really think about it, this whole series started because of a pig. Oh my god, Aaron this whole story started because of the like, pig. Right, listen, give me your strength, and I'm gonna end this entire world. And Zeke, like, hey, 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 what the f you doing, cuz? So Zeke just what starts the running. Fuck you and <laughs> like, you know what? Fuck it. So this big <laughs> you know what? Ends up connecting his head and you know what? I had enough to too. Okay. Down, it looks like you ready? Right. And all the colossal tights in that start moving. Hey, look at this nigga. What the f Nigga, look at his spine. This nigga's neck is extending his football fields. Motherfucker looks like a new breed of dinosaur. That's what I thought too. I was like, God God damn, Stegosaurus. It's the Jaeger Storks, right? So Armin says, We want to start Stegosaurus LD inversion. They like, Hey, yo, wait a minute. 
why are the other walls down too he don't need that many niggas, right so then they all get teleported to the titan spirit world and aaron has an another titan spirit so world basically says another one to the list <clears throat> hello hello uh can y'all niggas hear me gotta make sure this is on before i give this speech but uh here we go <clears throat> Hear ye, hear ye, all ye Eldians, I have an announcement to make. Uh, I don't really know how to put it any other way, so, uh, here we go. I'm about to step on these niggas. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, have a great day. I'm about to stop. <laughs> this nigga really went from I want to kill all the Titans to becoming a genocidal maniac. So then here come Rhino True. limping over he and did. got his ass beat for the eighth time. And bro's like, damn, nigga, we're f <laughs> so while pure chaos is going on right now, the gang's got Falco tied up right now. Are. They debating on what they should do with him. But Connie's thinking, wait a minute. You know what? I'm about to I still can't believe to Connie. Well, Connie just jacks Falco and leaves. Oh, so, so dumb. While Sasha's family's getting tracked down by a Titan, Maya ends up falling down a whole flight of stairs. And she having flashbacks right now. She thinking, oh my God. I'm about to get my ass ate just like my mama. But then a bullet shoots through his ass. And here come Gabby. She like, move, bitch. I'm about to no scope your ass point blank range. Face Gabby hits him again. My God, bro. Right, she gosh. don't miss. He oh. doesn't miss. <laughs> he really doesn't. He insane. She don't miss. She don't miss. Aaron. Aaron. She a candidate, but she ain't right, even a titan, and she this Him and Irvin good. were some of the realest niggas in this show, bro. So after this, somehow, some way, I rewatched part of season one, and I realized mm -hmm. that Pixis is the only reason why the three are even alive. I know. Pixis did so much for the scouts, like. It hurt so much seeing him go like that. Like even Aaron didn't save those three at the start of the show. It was literally Pixis. Came undone, and all the hardening came undone. Then that means. Wait, wait. Ah, this new season is such a mess. I can't wait for the rest of it. I mean, I'm dreading it, but like, I can't wait. I can't wait until they finish off the show and possibly the movie so this guy can just go for the rest of it. Just recap the rest of it, dude. Whatever the heck might happen. Basically, he said that he wants us to drown in our own tears, so that that's that's a warning. 